Hello, Sam is a university student. I am Dr. Tart Sipornang Sakong. Today I will explain the photoelectric effect. This is the experiment number three. What is the photoelectric effect? In the classical physics, light is thought of as a propagation of electromagnetic wave radiation. In 1900, Max Planck studied the black body radiation. He found that light is not a continuous quantity, but is a discrete quantity or quanta. The energy of light quanta proportional to the frequency of light and does not depend on the amplitude of wave. The energy of light also depends on the constant h, called Planck's constant. Then the energy of light quantity of photon equal to Planck's constant times the light frequency. The phenomena that approve the concept of photon is the photoelectric effect. At first, the photoelectric experiment was done by Heinrich Hertz in 1887. He found that the electron can be emitted from metal surface if illuminated by light and caused the current in the circuit. At that time, he cannot explain the experiment that why the current depends on the light frequency but not depends the light intensity as the classical concept described. until Planck proposed the concept that the energy of photon proportional to the light frequency. In 1905, Albert Einstein used Planck's concept of quanta to explain photoelectric effect. He proposed that light is particle, so-called photon. When photon incident metal, if its energy is equal to or greater than metal's electron binding energy, electron will absorb photon's energy and become photoelectron. The kinetic energy of photoelectron would come from the remaining of photon's energy as shown on the equation. Thus, if the light has not enough frequency or energy, the photoelectron cannot be emitted from metal surface. The metal's electron binding energy is so called work function or W0. In this experiment, we will illuminate the light onto the metal surface. Then the electron will be emitted from the surface and cause the current in the circuit. We will apply reverse bias potential to the circuit, which can retard or stop the photoelectron motion. This potential equals to the maximum kinetic energy of photoelectron and is so called stopping potential. So we will find the correlation between the stopping potential and the light frequency. The experiment consists of two parts. The first component is the photoelectric experiment set box which has the cathode tube or metal surface inside the box. Here is the voltage adjustment knob. Here are the terminals for potential measurement, which are stopping potential and potential of moving photoelectron or VR. Plug in the experiment set box. Here is the LED light source PCB, which have various light wavelength. Starting from the highest wavelength, which is the red color at the wavelength of 635 nanometer. 
Place the lead source into slot of the set box. Then switch the light on. Here the photoelectric effect already occurs. The light illuminates onto the metal surface. The photoelectron causes the photocurrent in the circuit. Then we will measure the stopping potential and VR. By using digital multimeter, select to the DC voltage measurement position. The black wire connects to the negative or common terminal. The red wire connects to the V terminal. This first digital multimeter will connect to the stopping potential terminal according to wire color. Select the second digital multimeter to the DC voltage measurement position. Connect the negative terminal to the black terminal of VR. Connect the positive terminal to red terminal of VR. Adjust the knob. We would like to stop the photoelectron. Then the potential of VR will be zero or no current. Then the potential from first digital multimeter will be the stopping potential. Adjust the knob until the potential of VR is approximately zero. At this point, read and record the voltage of first digital multimeter as the stopping potential. Switch to other LED light and repeat experiment to find stopping potential. Here is the yellow lead source with the wavelength of 595 nanometer. Place into the slot and turn light on. Then adjust the knob and read the stopping potential. Then change to the green lead with wavelength of 531 nanometer. Then repeat the experiment. We can observe that the lower wavelength, the higher frequency, and also the stopping potential. Then the blue lead and violet lead. Finally, we will obtain the stopping potential at various wavelengths. Then plot graph between the stopping potential as y-axis and the light frequency as x-axis. The frequency can be calculated from the equation that the light speed equals to the wavelength times frequency. The light speed is 3 times 10 to the 8th. Using the wavelength that obtained from the experiment to find the frequency. Do not forget to converse the prefix nano, which is 10 to the negative 9th. The frequency unit is hertz which must be denoted in the x-axis. From the equation, the y-axis is stopping potential and x-axis is light frequency. Next, we will find the slope of graph line. Do not use the data point to find the slope. Use the estimate straight line that you fit the data. The slope of graph equal to the Planck's constant divided by the electric charge. which is 1.6 times 10 to negative 19th coulomb. So, student can calculate the Planck's constant by multiplication of the slope of graph line and the electric charge. Then student must find the threshold frequency. This threshold frequency is starting frequency that cause the emittance of photoelectron. The threshold frequency can find from the x-intercept of the graph line. Finally, y-intercept is the work function divided by the electric charge. Then the work function can be calculated by the electric charge times y-intercept. So do not shorten the graph axis because we have to use the intercept data.
Afterward, find the percentage error from the Planck's constant standard value. Then the first part finish. In the second part, we will study the photocurrent from photoelectric effect. By using the blue LED, adjust the stopping potential to be 1.2 volt. We will add the aperture into the middle slot. The first aperture diameter size is 3 mm. Then adjust VR to be approximately 1.2 volts. Then record the potential VR according the aperture diameter size. This potential will be divided by 100,000, then we will obtain the photocurrent. Change the aperture diameter size and repeat the experiment until finish all the aperture. The aperture diameter sizes are changed from 3 mm to be 5 mm and then 6.5 mm and 8 mm and finally 10 mm then plot graph between the photocurrent as y axis and the aperture diameter as x axis that all for second part thank you